The race for the White House, Donald Trump and Bill Clinton going head to head on the campaign trail overnight. The GOP front runner going after the former president. ABC Cecilia Vegas is here. And uh, Cecilia, the race heating up with just, what, 27 days now to go for the first votes. Oh, but who's counting, Rob? Yeah, exactly. Good morning to you. All eyes on Iowa. Those caucuses there right around the corner. A sign that this race is hotter than ever. Take a listen to this. Bill Clinton has been in Donald Trump's direct line of fire for a few days now. But finally, the former president is speaking out for the very first time. Overnight, Donald Trump stirring up this crowd of thousands with a one-two punch. Hillary, Hillary, let's say Hillary is president. I, uh. And just a few miles away. It's kind of scary this year. Hillary Clinton's husband on his first solo campaign trip this election, taking some not so subtle jabs right back. When there is discrimination against African Americans or Hispanics, or Muslims just because of who they are. I don't like that. Bill Clinton not mentioning Trump by name or his recent tactic dredging up those past scandals. This is a woman that has been really an enabler, and that's not a good situation for Hillary. So I asked. Donald Trump says your past is fair game. I've got to ask you, you keep coming up on the trail with him. Is it fair game? And after a long pause, finally an answer. The Republicans have to decide who they want to nominate. I'm trying to tell now the Democrats in the country why well, I think Hillary would be the best president. And I think there's always attempts to take the election away from the people. Trump taking his offensive to the airwaves, too. And he'll stop illegal immigration by building a wall on our southern border that Mexico will pay for. His first campaign ad just released and already under fire. This image of a flood of immigrants racing toward what appears to be the U.S. border in Mexico. But it turns out this border, 5,000 miles away in Morocco. Trump now on the defensive. That was just video footage. It's just display of what our country is going to look like. We're like a third world country. We're a dumping ground. So you can just take it any way you want. For her part, Hillary Clinton trying to stay above the fray with a new Donald Trump strategy in the new year. I've adopted a New Year's resolution. I'm going to let him live in his alternative reality, and I'm not going to respond. Okay, so, so, you, so you see that New Year's resolution from Hillary Clinton, and you could feel Bill Clinton biting his tongue when you asked him that question. Yeah, he seemed to pause. Look, he seemed to be uh, staying on message yesterday. This might be the Bill Clinton of the 2016 race. We talked yesterday about how he got in trouble in 2008 for going off message. This time around, I think you're probably going to see a more subdued Bill Clinton, at least for the time being. Uh, it, the, the, the words that are being used this morning is that he very much knows his role this time around, that he is, in fact, the supporting actor if she is the star of this show. Okay, let's talk about that now with Matthew Dowd, our political analyst. And Matthew, you think actually that Hillary should make another New Year's resolution not to use Bill Clinton that much. Yeah, I think she should actually leave Bill Clinton at home in the course of this. One, he, we all know he's popular. The problem is, is he reinforces with the voters that she is part of the past. Even if you like that past, it's part of the past, and voters always want the future. The other thing, I think, is this helps Donald Trump in the Republican primary. It helps him because Hillary Clinton is despised by Republican voters, and it's a bank shot through Bill to get to Hillary. That's why I think in the end, in the short term, this helps Donald Trump. So he's attacking Bill Clinton. Meanwhile, you see all these other Republican candidates in this final four weeks into, until the Iowa caucus is really starting to attack each other. Yeah, we're in the time of the thing where it's musical chairs, but there's no teacher in the classroom to keep the rules. More chairs have been pulled out. There's limited space to see who can stay in the game. But now we have green eggs and ham. We have fantasy football. And so we're at that time where there's limited chairs and people are trying to dance around and get the last few chairs remaining before Iowa and New Hampshire. And the real grudge match you're seeing is this one between Ted Cruz now leading in Iowa and Marco Rubio, another 44-year-old Cuban-American senator. They really seem to be fighting it out for that space right behind Donald Trump overall. Yeah, I mean, Donald Trump is still the dominant character in this race, but somebody needs to be second or somebody needs to be third in the course of this race. And you have two brand new senators going at it, as you say, in the course of this. And I think it's only going to get more and more heated as we get closer to Iowa and as we leave Iowa into New Hampshire and the other states along the way. This is going to be a very heated race between the two of them. No question about that, Matthew Dowd to see Vega. Thanks very much.